I hope you're interested. Anybody? Anyone interested? What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Naninda Koei. Thank you so much for joining me again, again. So um, today, um, I hope you're all interested. I hope you click because of the title. I hope you're interested in knowing exactly know. what. <laughs> anyway, let me not be creepy. Let me not be weird. Let's just proceed into so the first video. Of all, my makeup bag. Let me just tell you, first of all, I never, oh my God, what usually happens when I'm filming, stop bopping. Sorry, guys, for that. But first of all, I never, ever carry makeup to work. No, 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 no. So this makeup bag is usually for traveling and also for like every other day. Yeah, probably you've seen it in my video. I thrifted this. Yes, I bought it in the Mtush and it was that cheap. I think it was a hundred bob. Yeah, and you know that's that cheap for such a thing. As you can see, it has like a plastic coating. So it can't get dirty basically. And you can just wipe it. Yeah. And the inside is also similar. Oh no, the inside is you. It's just synthetic basically. But basically what I'm trying to say is that I don't carry makeup to work. So this makeup bag is usually for traveling. Like it's the one I have so many makeup bags, but this one is the one I normally use for traveling. And I always have like everything inside here that I will definitely need when I'm traveling. Even when I'm filming, I'll just remove it and return it back immediately. So let's check what's in the makeup bag because these are the bare essentials that I normally travel with. And this bag holds a lot. I'm telling you, it holds so, so much. You might not realize it looks small like this. Yeah. But you can see it's actually quite big, but it looks, it doesn't look like it carries a lot. But believe you me, it carries a lot as you're going to see. So all this is basically what I normally make sure I carry on a trip. Like recently I was in Eldoret about, was it last week but one okay i don't know because as you know as i said before in previous videos i normally just schedule these videos so the first thing i normally carry that is a mask is usually a powder brush forgive me that it's so so dirty but hey, girls gotta use a brush but i just keep it and return it and uh, when i'm about to travel i normally actually wash it first then put it in so it's just a powder brush that i normally use for applying my powder and then that is it so let me just carry this makeup bag like this so that you can believe everything that came out like it's a lot it's a lot so the powder brush that's a mask and the lipsticks that i've been loving basically for them for now this is not a lipstick it's actually a lip gloss by victoria secret so it's a victoria secret lip gloss that i have been loving it's the total shine addict flavored lip gloss and it's really really shiny and really really moisturizing like your lips cannot dry out when you're using this and it's shiny shiny and i'm sure you've if you've been following me you've been seeing it on my video so so much because i've been loving it so it goes into the bag whatever lip makeup i've been loving for that time is what i'll keep in this bag yeah so this is the first one and then this lipstick by revlon seriously it's the revlon um, ultra hd vinyl lip polish i used to be obsessed with matte lipsticks but now i'm in the zone with this lip glosses that lip lip glosses basically they are colored lip glosses so this is the revlon ultra hd vinyl lip polish in the shade um so shady yes and i love it so much it's like a vampy brownish burgundy reddish something shiny extremely shiny so that i've been keeping here and these are the two lipsticks that i have been loving or lip products and they definitely had to go inside this bag next we have this one concealer i really love concealer so i always have to carry this is the revlon photo ready concealer in the shade medium it's not really my shade but it's the one i've applied now i normally just even it out again with um foundation but i love it i love the consistency of this and i wish i had my shade it appears that it has very few shades 
so yeah i have to contend with this one for now but it just stays in the bag another thing that i cannot fail to travel with is my foundations and i normally carry four foundations like legit like this bag normally has four foundations just in case something goes wrong or i need to color correct or something of the sort so the, the first one is this fit me foundation this one to be honest i think i'll remove it from this bag because it's in the shade 352 which used to make me look like i'm wearing a mask and most people would actually think that i'm wearing a lighter shade when actually it was a darker shade because it would just create a mask effect especially with lighting and all it would just look like a mask like legit so this is not my color but i do carry it and i do use it occasionally as a bronzer or like a bronzing foundation something so just uh, i sometimes apply it like at the top of my hairline if we be just so that it looks like a bronzer but i honestly need to get rid of that one and this is the one i'm currently using which is the fit me 356 warm coconut and as you can see it's not that badly off so that's the one i'm using i'm still yet to find my maybelline shade but that is there also and i normally carry this to revlon uh foundations this one i've literally finished it and i've seen on the website because i got them from jumia i've seen on the website they are sold out this specific shade the pecan is sold out but it's the revlon photo ready candid foundation anti-pollution which basically as they normally market it they normally say that it filters blue light from phones from cameras from any blue light basically from laptops so i like it and i really loved this yeah but i used to i got two shades on jumia just in case the other shade didn't fit me and it did fit me so i i occasionally use this as a concealer because it's really light so instead of using the revlon concealer that i just showed you i can use this one because it's really light and it's not really as light as that other concealer so i normally use it as concealer occasionally so those are the four foundations that i normally carry in here so as you can see the bag still has stuff like legit and i normally just throw this that's why i normally just keep it all these things in here because i'll just throw them in like seriously and then i have this eyeshadow primer which is not necessary for me to carry but i normally just keep it in uh just in case an emergency arises i have to film maybe while i've traveled or something of the sort so this is an eyeshadow primer that i normally put and this is another concealer stick by ushers i don't know ushers is what company but it just says cover up concealer stick i just got it in our local beauty store and i didn't really like it but yeah it's in the shade number three and i also carry this maybelline this is the one i'm currently using it's the one i've used to win this yeah it's the maybelline hyper precise all day liquid liner in the shade black yeah so that i normally carry and as you can see still this stuff so and i usually carry some pencils so this is one of the pencils i carry this is just a brown pencil and this black pencil this black one that i normally practically use for everything as you guys know i normally do in my eyebrows so the, like this one i'm just drawing it in using mascara and a pencil like legit <laughs> yeah and i know that sounds weird but the mascara has worked for me so i just stick to it and then there's this nyx contour stick that i normally use but it broke on one end so i stopped using it but i just keep it here just you know just in case anything happens so it's the nyx wonder stick highlight and contour stick so one end is a highlight and the other end is a contour so that is also kept in there and of course if you carry okay this is eyelash glue i currently don't have eyelashes but i usually have at least one pair in here always like i'll always have one pair even if i'll buy the ones in bulk i'll just keep one pair in here so this is eyelash glue i also carry it always and then we have tweezers you know 
just put the eyelashes and anything of the sort that I need. And then this is a sharpener. If you can't have pencils without sharpeners. So those are the things that I carry. And I also normally carry. It wasn't inside. This fit me was not inside this. But it's always inside here. And the reason it wasn't inside is because it broke. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Setting Powder that I always carry. It's a press powder actually and I always carry it. So I have to get another one. I'm not the kind of person who has like 10 types of setting powders in their closet. I usually just pick one and use it until it's over. So I'm here to get another uh, Maybelline setting powder and I'm thinking of getting uh, 20. <laughs> Yes, I'm thinking of, of getting one from Sephora, like the website. And yeah, I'm thinking of really getting a 21. I don't know how it will go for me. This acne, the reason I've actually not got anything is because of this acne. Like, I really want this acne to completely go so that I can just make the Fenty look good. You know, like you just don't buy Fenty and then you're there with your acne making it look bad. That's terrible. Yeah, so basically, guys, that is it. The last thing, okay, I've not removed the sharpener. Let me remove it. And the last thing in here is this. Let me see. This little eyelash glue that came with a pair of eyelashes that I've actually bought. I never really use these eyelash glues. One day I'll try it, but just this natural rubber latex, 1ml, literally 1ml. So, yeah, that is it, guys, that is normally in my bag. Thank you so much for listening to me, guys, if anybody cared for such a thing. But, hey, why not? You might just get ideas. So, don't forget to subscribe. I'm putting out a lot of content for you guys so that you guys can be happy. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. I post three times a week, which is actually Monday, Wednesday, and... Friday yeah my schedule is really busy like Monday Wednesday and Friday and I also have a vlog channel which I actually post every single Tuesday and Thursday you can just imagine you can just imagine the work that I normally put in but I'm not saying you subscribe because of the work I've put in subscribe subscribe because hey my content is good you might just get ideas from this channel and don't forget to check out my other videos I literally have about 150 videos by the time this video is going up I have 142 or 43 videos by the time it's going up. By the time you're seeing it, I might even have like 300 or 400 videos. Who knows even 1,000. So make sure to hit the subscribe button because your girl is going places. And you are also going places with her. So don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok. And I'll see you in my next video. Ciao!